In this video, we'll examine a technique called the double matrix method. This technique can be used to solve overlapping sets questions that feature a population in which each member of that population has exactly two criteria associated with it. Now, these kinds of questions are very common, so be sure to learn and practice the technique shown here. Alright, to set things up, please consider this question. Here we have a population of toys in which each toy has exactly two criteria associated with it. First, there's the toy's color, blue or green, and there is the toy's size, large or small. So this question is a great candidate for the double matrix method. Now I should point out that some resources will suggest using a Venn diagram to solve these kinds of questions. While Venn diagrams are fine for solving easy questions, they're not very effective for organizing information when solving difficult questions. The double matrix method, on the other hand, works for both easy and difficult questions. Here's how it works. To begin, we'll draw four boxes, and then we'll label the rows and columns according to the two criteria associated with each toy. Now, one of the criteria is color. So let's label the left-hand column blue toys and label the right-hand column green toys. The other criterion is size. So let's label the top row small toys and label the bottom row large toys. Now since there are 40 toys altogether, we'll place a 40 here to remind us of the total population. Now here comes the most important part. We're going to take all 40 toys and place each of them into one of the following four boxes, depending on that toy's features. For example, in this box, we'll place toys that are small and blue. In this box, we'll place toys that are large and blue. In this box, toys that are small and green. And in this box, toys that are large and green. Now the question asks us to find the number of toys that are both large and blue. So we want to determine how many of the 40 toys are in this box. So let's add a star here to remind us that this is our target box. Okay, now that we're all set up, we're going to take the given information and add it to our diagram. For example, we are told that there are 30 small toys altogether. Notice that the small toys are either blue or green. Now at the moment, we don't know how many of the small toys are blue and how many are green. But we do know that the sum of these two boxes must be 30 since there are 30 small toys altogether. So let's add this here. The two highlighted boxes must add to 30. Now if there are 40 toys altogether and 30 of them are small, then we can conclude that the other 10 toys must be large. Now some of these large toys are blue and some are green. And we don't yet know how many of the 10 large toys to place in each box. However, we do know that the sum of these two boxes must be 10, since there must be 10 large toys altogether. Okay, moving along, we're also told that there are 14 blue toys altogether. Well, notice that these two boxes are meant to hold the blue toys. This box is for small blue toys, and this box is for large blue toys. So the sum of these two boxes must be 14, since there are 14 blue toys altogether. Now, if 14 of the 40 toys are blue, then the remaining 26 toys must be green. This means that the sum of these two boxes must be 26, since there are 26 green toys altogether. Now at this point, we know the sums of the rows and columns, but we have not yet been able to add any information about the actual number of toys to be placed in each individual box. To fill in each box, we need one more piece of information, and that piece of information is right here. 22 of the toys are both small and green. Since this box is reserved for small green toys, we know that 22 toys go in this box. From here, we can fill in the rest of the diagram. For example, we already learned that these two boxes must add to 30. So this box must contain eight toys. We also know that these two boxes must add to 14. So this box must contain six toys. And finally, we know that these two boxes must add to 26. 
So this box must contain four toys. So of the 40 toys in the shipment, eight are blue and small, 22 are green and small, six are blue and large, and four are green and large. Now the question asks us to find the number of toys that are large and blue. So the answer here is B. Okay, so that's the double matrix method. Be sure to learn this technique well before test day.